we'll switch back to visual studio and uh, here when we go to our solution explorer you can see the name of your project just right click on it and uh, we will be adding a new folder into our project and we will name it as reports okay now right click on this folder and add a new item and uh, we will add a crystal report uh, here in the list of visual c-sharp items select reporting and then click on the crystal, crystal reports and uh, you can change the name of your report crystal report if you want to I will keep it as CR1 and click on the add button as soon as you click on that button it will uh, it will generate a new window it actually a new window will be pop up and uh, from this window you have to select the using the report wizard and click on ok button and here we have to add our connection of the database that we will be using to display the data onto the report so uh, I'll remove the previously added data connection and I will double click on the create new connection in order to create our new connection and uh, here I am going to select OLEDB ADO double click on it and it will provide us a list of providers and uh, from this list select SQL Server native client and click on next button and uh, here we have to specify the name of our uh, server I'll click on this arrow and it will show me the name of my SQL Server here is the name of my SQL Server I'll click on it and uh, since I am using integrated security windows integrated security so I will check this box and I will look for my database by clicking on this arrow and uh, sample data DB is the name of my database so I will just select it and uh, one thing uh, I want to tell you that if uh, you couldn't find the name of your server by clicking on this arrow you can simply go to your SQL server and from here uh, object explorer just click on this icon and uh, this window will be shown to you and you can see the name of your server right here just copy this server name and paste it right at this section and then check, select your database and then click next and finish so an, our connection is now added so uh, just simply go to my connections and here you can see that our database uh, connection is uh, uh, added here and you can see the name of your database as well just double click on it now double click on the dbo and you can see the tables and store procedures tables contains the tables that we have created in this database and store procedure and contains the store procedures that we have created in this database since we are going to use as uh, a store procedure get all data to get data from the database so we will just simply click on it and click on this button to add it into the selection tables and we have to specify the fields that we want to display on our report so just uh, click on this button and it will copy all the fields to uh, fields to display um, uh, dialog box or you can see the menu and just click on next and again next next and here you can choose the style that you want to I'll keep it as standard and click on the finish button so here you can see that it has generated a report for us and uh, this is the layout of our report and if, if you want to, to if you want to see the data uh, or if you want to see how the data is uh, going to be displayed when this report is loaded just simply click on the main report preview and you can see the data as well here so this is how your report will be displayed on the windows form application